another solo adventure, a solo adventure today. Riding from Jess is dropping off at Balan, and I'm going to Woodstock, which is where Jess is racing today, which is kind of west of Castle Main. Anyway, map the route. I'm on Tonkster. My little fancy bag. Got lights on. And dry diggings trail is part of my route today. 30 mil tires. I've ridden centenary trail in Jess tells me dry diggings is no different than Centenary Trail. So we'll see what happens. There's not heaps of climbing today, but um, about 1,500 meters, over 130. So, but most of it's in this first 20K. That could be it. I think could be the end of the climbing. Nope, one bit to go, I reckon. One bit to go. I've got to do about 23k an hour average to meet my goal my target out of the forest back into farmland and on to bitumen quick word about tire width go hard go and buy a gravel specific bike. Go and do it, I'm sure it'll be great. But don't think you have to. You know, I got this bike. Kind of honky tonk. They were $1,600 brand new. I got mine for $200 on Facebay. The only time, all right. Okay, I've got a bit of experience off road, so maybe, maybe, but. The only time I really think, ah, oh, geez, I wish I didn't have such skinny tyres. It's not the tyres, it's the clearance on the frame. Just went through some mud back there. And I was fine, but I've been in mud before where I wasn't fine. <laughs> and the wheels get, get clogged up. That's probably the only time I really think, ah. Because the other times, if I need to, I just go slower. Simple as that. Just go slower. But now, look, I'm on bitumen again. And 30 mils, they just roll like, pretty much like road tyres. Came through there before, tiny little area. I reckon it was an old settlement because there was like bricks uh, in, the, in the road. Here we go again. There we go. Anyway, I just love this riding, this adventuring, and I've seen two cars the whole time in almost 50k. Well, I went through Dalesford and Hepburn Springs pretty quick. Dalesford was closed. Anyway, um, I think I've just started the Gold Diggings Trail. I think this is it. My original map had me going 
it's not the different, but there were steps involved there, so I don't think I'll do that. So, gold digging's track. I'm sure it's not. Stuffing a bit too much here. There's the signs I'm looking for. And there's the start. What have I done? I think I've done about 45. 40, 45 ish. 21 moving. It's about where I need to be. Hopefully, I'll pick up some time. Let's go. Well, first walking section. That's okay. So far, gold digging's track has been probably, I'd say 90% proper old school single track, which is fine. It's rocky, it's not overly rocky, which is good, because <laughs> if it was overly rocky, then I'd be in lots of trouble. But there was some fire road back there. My initial research told me that you know, it sort of starts out more single track. But anyway, so let's have something to eat. Hmm. Back into it. Probably the thing that's let me down here is maybe an extra gear. I got a 36. I think it's a 34, 36. Anyway, I'm starting to doubt. Not my choice to come here, but the time frame. I'm only giving myself seven hours to do 130k, including this uh, dry diggings trail. Anyway, see what happens. Get back on here. So back on some dirt road, which is good. Uh, the single track, the single track wasn't that bad. It really, it really isn't. It's just that it's slow. Anyway, as I was saying before, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make, I don't want people to think I'm saying don't buy a modern gravel bike. Buy two if you want. But don't let the lack of a modern gravel bike or adventure bike, don't let the lack of that make you miss out on this. A simple road bike with enough clearance for 30s in my opinion, if you can fit 32s in there even better. Steel, why not? And uh, let's get out there. Hit me up and I'll show you how to do a tubeless set of normal road wheels. Been on this sort of smooth, hard packed double track for a while now. This is much. I can make. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oops. Up around here. I can maintain, you know, comfortably. 18, 19, maybe 20 k an hour on this. Keeps the average speed up. Nice. Oh, there's a bruise up there. Well, 
well proper proper single trek this last bit but much faster nowhere near as rocky and it feels like I've been going downhill for about an hour and a half um, I think I'm over there uh, so it's kept my average speed up which is good and just make sure love finding stuff like that someone will tell me bullshit but you know it's a chance those stones were laid 150 years ago and there they are this is like a dry river which was that last hour or oh, maybe not quite an hour but that was pretty pretty tough uh, proper single track really so slow going plenty of walking steep at times uh. so I think I'm out of gold diggings track there's probably more to come but by the looks of the line that I'm following I'm reasonably convinced that I'm going to be on road, dirt road for a while. Well, look. I'll answer the question at the end of the road. But it's certainly not... Look, it's good single track, let me say that. Anyway, it's good to be on... It's good to be out of good single track. <laughs> Oh dear. Way behind schedule. Way behind. Well, I've turned off gold digging's track because if the first bit was tough, this last 10k was even tougher. Lots of rocks. Lots of rocks. Uh, I'm choosing what I hope is going to be, looks like that the whole way, which is nice. Because over there, I think that's a Telstra line. So this will be a Telstra track, which means it'll have to be wide because vehicles need to get to it to be able to service the line. Anyway, gold digging's track is tough on 30 mil tires. So I'm at uh, Castle Main and I've pulled the pin, ran out of time. Just it's coming back here anyway. And we'll have some uh, some lunch. Found a cool little vegan joint here in Castle Moon. So the answer to the question: Can you ride 
the gold diggings trail from Dalesford to Castlemaine on a 30 mil tyre drop bar bike. Well, the answer is yes, but the real question is, would I do it again? I think yes. It was fun, but I'd take all day to do it. <laughs> because I was on a bit of a schedule, I probably made a few less than ideal decisions. Bike held up fine, but it was pretty stressful riding at times. I would have liked to have, well, I ended up having to walk a few downs a few down bits I made a few wrong turns I'm glad I pulled out at the end because like I pulled out off the gold diggings trail and then just onto some dirt roads and that that got me into town super quick and I was glad I was out of water too so that was silly anyway that's what I rode it on I think there's a few scuffs. G1s. Schwabby G1s speed test tires. Um, anyway, got some vegan food and uh, another adventure. Solo adventure done. <laughs>